Hi everyone, welcome to my video. So today is going to be a, a bit of a, a different video. I'm going to be doing a car tour video. For those who haven't um, come to my channel before, my name's Alana. I normally do acrylic nails um, videos on my channel. And um, so if you're interested in acrylic nails, please check out my uh, channel and take a look at my um, acrylic nail designs. But I purchased a new car yesterday. Um, it was a Fiat 500 and before I was decided which car to buy I watched a ton of car video um, channels which I absolutely loved and falling in love with I can't stop watching them, they're absolutely amazing so thanks to all those people that put the videos up because it helped me choose my next car and my next car is a Fiat 500 like I said so I thought it'd be fun to pop one of these videos up on my channel um, so if you're a regular viewer of mine and expecting to see acrylic nails, don't worry, they will still be here. I'm still doing acrylic nails. There's, I have got a couple of videos ready to upload um, later on today or tomorrow. Well, sometime this week you'll see a couple of nail videos. I have worked on a few. Um, um, so, yeah, that are still available. And carry on watching because this is just something a bit different. Um, if you've come to look at the car tour... Um, thanks very much for tuning in and I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it shows you everything that you need to know. If you need to ask me any car uh, questions about the car, bearing in mind I have only picked it up yesterday. So it's kind of my first impressions video of this car. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoy watching. So um, stay tuned guys. So hi guys, now I'm in the car. There's a lot of people watching, so I feel a bit stupid sitting in here, but um, we'll see how we get on. So I'm just going to start her up. Oh, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so in the dashboard you have your speedometer, you have like your revs, you have your temperature, and you have your petrol. Now I've just filled this up and it costs about £35 to fill up. It cost me 32 and there was already a bit in. Um, you have your miles here. If you press this little button on the end, which says trip, it changes to different settings. Um, so I'm going to have a play around with those later. You have your warning lights around the side. So obviously I have the one for the handbrake and seat belts. On the steering wheel you, itself you have, on the one side you have your source button, your phone answering button and your radio changing buttons. You have your horn in the middle and on the other side you have your mute button, your blue and me buttons, and your volume controls. So on this stick here, you have your windscreen wiper. So you pull down, it operates your windscreen. For the back, and that operates the back. You have your air vents here, which is controllable, and another one on the top. You have a little bit of storage here for like pound coins and things. In the door you have storage in this little well. You also have your mirror controls here to control your mirrors and more space in the door and a speaker down here. So on the other side, if I can get a good view of it, you have your light settings here. So it's a standard on off and full beam at the back. On the top here I have my little magnet where I fit my phone from to use my sat nav. The radio is a bog standard radio with the air vents. Um, here you have like city steering. This, If you press this you get a little city sign coming up and the steering goes really light and that's ideal for parking and little tight lanes and stuff. Thank you. 
apologies for that the postwoman just turned up um so where was i i did the city one so this is the hazards lights this is the fog lights um and then you've got your standard air um obviously cold and hot i always keep mine on one but you can go up to four which is like the windscreen setting if you want to demist um, again you can have it circulating from outside which is the one I've got it set on or circulating in the car I always keep mine on windscreen but you can change it to other settings depending on how you like it this is your rear window this um, demister and this is your stop start control button so if you want to turn it off you just click it on there and your little stop start button comes up there and again if I turn it off that disappears your window operations are here which is unusual because they're usually in the door but on this car they're here so press it down no explanation there <laughs> just what it says on the tin it's a five speed gear stick and um, to put it into reverse you just lift up this little collar and bring it across and down and then you've got a little storage area here you've also got a little bit of storage here and storage in the door one thing i like about this car is its sky roof put it across like that to keep it covered up or to open it my last couple of cars were convertible so i like this because it gives me that convertible feel still without getting cold or wet um i normally drive with it open i'll just close it across when i get out this is where i got the car from so please check them out they're a great dealership to open the boot you just press this little button here and that unlocks the seats are 50 50 split so they do fold down for more space as you can see you have a little bit here for like a light shot shop if you want a bit more space these seats do come down and this part of the shelf gets removed and as you can see there there is a little pocket in the back of the passenger side those levers there are to you just lift up and pull the seat that way and your rear passengers can get in that way So these are just pictures now of the outside of the car so this is the rear not a very good picture but this is the side and then there'll be one at the front so i hope you've enjoyed this video i know the content hasn't been that great it's a new video for me so a bit of work in progress but my first impressions are i love this car i would recommend it to anybody um so i might do another little update at some point uh, just to let you all know how I'm getting on with it. So thanks everybody for watching and I'll speak to you again soon. Bye bye.